Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be another one of my releases revisited videos where I look back at past upcoming releases videos and let you know if I've read the books and if I have, what did I think of them. This particular batch is going to be the books I was looking forward to from July, August, and September of 2018, so a little bit more than a year ago. This may be pretty short because the list itself is short and there are three books on here that I still haven't read. So let's get into it. First up we have The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Cole, which came out in July, and then about six weeks later The Faded Sky, which is the second book, came out as well. Of course I have already read these, I have done reviews on them, and I've talked about them multiple times. These were pretty much my favorite books of 2018 actually. I enjoyed them immensely, and they definitely lived up to my expectations. Uh, frankly, I hold Kowal's books to a pretty high standard, and she keeps meeting that standard, and I just... these were everything that I wanted them to be. They are alternate history, historical science fiction, where the Earth is hit by a meteor, which causes catastrophic climate change and will eventually make the planet uninhabitable, and this kicks all of these space programs into high gear, and we have female astronauts in the space program, so... It was so good. So good. Next is Competence by Gail Carriger, which is the third book in the Custard Protocol series. This was a definite upturn in the series for me. The first two books, Prudence and Imprudence, I liked, but I still had problems with them, mainly because the character Prudence does nothing for me. But in Competence, other characters have points of view, and it kind of shifts focus away from Prudence and to her friends, and I really enjoyed that. I think the main character in Competence is Primrose, and there's also more about her brother Percy, who is pretty much my favorite character in the entire series. So I, I just devoured this book, and it was like the perfect read at the time. Just so fun. Then there are two books from July of 2018 that I still haven't read. The first one is Apocalypse Now by Cameron Hurley. This is a collection of novellas set in her Beldam Apocrypha universe with the main character of Nyx, who is a bounty hunter. I haven't read this because I was planning on getting it from the library. I noticed that one of my libraries had it on overdrive, and I just was like, oh, I'll get to that, oh, I'll get to it, and then it disappeared. So now I don't have access to it, and I'll probably have to buy it and add it to my collection, but I still intend on reading it, especially now because I think I'm really gravitating more towards Hurley's shorter fiction, like novellas and short stories, rather than her novels. Um, but also, this is about a character in a world that I've really enjoyed in the past, so I will definitely want to check it out at some point. The other book I haven't read is Annex by Rich Larson. This is his debut novel, and I believe it's a young adult science fiction novel. Honestly, I've kind of cooled off on this one. I haven't seen it anywhere to try it out. Um, I did almost buy it at Worldcon back in August, but I had run out of space on my luggage, so I didn't get it then. But I'm honestly not sure how much I really want to read it now. I mean, it sounds perfectly fun Fine, but I think for now I'll just stick with reading Rich Larson's short fiction, which I've definitely enjoyed. Then there is the third Wayfarers novel by Becky Chambers called A Record of a Space Born Few. I feel bad every time I talk about this book because I think I give the impression that I really disliked it in some way, but actually I enjoyed the book. It was very touching, very moving. I love the theme of this, and it made me cry at one point but I do dislike the way that it's structured. The characters are good, the story is good, the message is good. I just don't quite like the way that it's packaged. Whenever I felt like I had finally fully sunk into one character's storyline, I was suddenly booted into somebody else's. And what I really wanted for this book is for it to be structured like a tapestry novel or a mosaic novel um, with longer chapters that function almost like novellas, but they're interlinked, ultimately building up a single story. I love that kind of novel, and I think that the structure like that would have brought this story home for me. So I still really enjoyed it. I think it is it is so worth reading for what it is. Um, Chambers, it just, she brings all the feels, basically. 
And she brings all the kindness and that aspect of family and found family and community and stuff in this. But yeah, it did also leave me wanting even more from the Wayfarer universe. And I think that Chambers is working on another novel in the series as well, so I'm not done reading these yet. Moving on to August, the next one is Early Riser by Jasper Ford. This is a much long-awaited novel by Ford, who I think had kind of a dry spell with his novels for a while. Um, so I was waiting and waiting and waiting for this one to arrive at the library, and I liked it! I mean, the whole concept of this is like alternate history where humans learn how to hibernate through really terrible winters. It's like the Earth is really truly still in an ice age, and so there are these very harsh winters, and it's affected the biology and social structure and history of humans. And I thought that was a brilliant idea. Everything I enjoyed about this book was ultimately its exploration of that premise and how the world was different. The actual plot of it, I've mostly forgotten about it. Um, I mostly remember that I just thought the world building was really cool and it just never brought the the characters or the plot home for me. Would I read more set in this universe? Absolutely, that would be so fun. Um, it also didn't feel quite like what I remember other books by Jasper Ford being like, but then again, I've only really read his um, Thursday Next novels, which are quite different. Then there's A Ringer, Rogue Protocol by Martha Wells. This is the third Murderbot novella. There was no way that I wasn't going to love this. I mean, it's, it's Murderbot. So I, I really did enjoy this installment, though it is honestly like my lowest ranked. Like if you made me put all of the novellas in order from most liked to least liked, this would be at the bottom. Not because it's bad, but because I, there are just aspects of the other three that made me love them even more. However, I have now read this novella twice, and I noticed that when I, when I read all of them quite quickly, one after another again, I noticed things about the plot and what was going on here with um, basically Murderbot's emotional development that I hadn't picked up on before, and it was um, even better the second time around. So more Murderbot. I can't wait for more. I can't wait for the novel. <laughs> And the last one is the sole book from September that I was really looking forward to, which I still haven't read, and that is State Tectonics by Malka Older. This is the third and final book in her Sentinel Cycle. The first two are Infomocracy and Null State, or Null States, I can't remember. And I really enjoyed the first two. I still intend on reading State Tectonics. Um, it's I think of it like political thriller science fiction. It's definitely focused on information flow and politics and democracy and how governments actually work. And that is really interesting. I really like the way that Malka Older writes about this subject and makes it so realistic. So I will eventually read State Tectonics. I have it on ebook, so I don't have any reason to not get to it soon. We'll see. And that is it for this batch. Like I said, it's kind of a shorter list and there's some I can't talk about yet because I still haven't read them, uh, but I will hopefully get my butt in gear and uh, read more of these and more from the next batch as well. So let me know if you have read any of these books as well and what you thought about them, or simply if you want to read them, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with another video for Vlogmas. And until then, bye.